Hey guys, you Kirby here with another episode of Borderlands. In the last episode, we made it through the made it through the Crimson Fastness and the back door into the Fastness, found Tannis, and she just and now we need to reactivate the echo transmitters. First off, let's check these. Any good shields for me? No. Do we have an ammo upgrade? No. Alright, cool. You already start off with Crimson Fastness. And you have the return of the Guardians. Yes, we actually see the Guardians come back. I mean, they are the defenders of the vault, so. We also do have a new. Oh, come on. I think I'll probably, um, I know these do, these re kind of reload faster, but honestly, I'm going to replace the Anarchy with my, the, my Sniper with the Anarchy, just so I have a weapon to use when this is done. Alright, so this actually is kind of a annoying area to do, but first off, oh, let's also go ahead and just use the med kit. Just to basically just, eh, let's do it. Yeah, we will be fighting more Crimson Lance, though. Yes, I do know that basically that we are basically ooh, I'll take this because it gives me better uh, better recharge rate. And yes, I do know that basically we w we do turn the turn the lance members into cheese easy faster with the um that guy blew himself up. Anyway, sw fat we switch cheese faster with the. Faster with the uh, thing. Oh boy. Oh, right. Yeah, turrets again. Hi. Hi. We'll get those guys when we actually climb up. That's kind of why I was a bit annoyed at the fact that that, um, that the fact that that, um, engineer just dropped his thing down the side. But yeah, we have one last group of terrorists to deal with. Because we're assholes. I'll be straight honest, it, it, it's 100% they're assholes. Luckily, there are no enemies guarding these because the Crimson Lance are a bunch of fucking idiots. So to, I reactivate this to this and now climb up because there are always some goodies to actually wait. Up, oh, bad, up, oh, those badass engineer. Oh, actually, ooh, okay, okay, it's some badass engineer and normal engineer. Throw out this grenade a lot. There's you. Up, oh, so he actually is immune to this, so let's bring out our, our SMG. There we go. Now, almost all these do have chests on the top, so it actually is worth your while to actually go and do these. 
And trust me, they are actually really worth it. Now, the next two are actually on the other side of here. So, I'll... Nah. Nah, it's kind of... Nah, you know what? Nah. I'll use, I'll use the other one to get back all that health faster. And we'll basically just go and sell the stuff and grab another one. Mostly because, because like we're passing the thing, so we'll let's, so we'll go ahead and just pass it, grab, get stuff, yeah. Yeah, the real threat is actually the guardians, honestly, and 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 the turrets you see, and the turrets you see. But yeah, it's mostly the, it's mostly the turrets you, you have. But yeah, who would have thought that the Guardians would actually come back, you know? Like, that's kind of shocking. Yeah, this honestly is kind of an annoying area. It's like, no. We're in the final episode. We're in the final section, so yeah, but still. Also, good news. I actually do have a new controller. Yeah, don't worry. The um, when leveling up your um, your Iridium gun uh, stuff, you actually will be getting faster reload. Ah, god damn it! Thank you, grenade. Thank you, grenade. Now for the for the next ones, the door is actually locked, so we actually need to be fighting our way a little bit through. Oh. Luckily, you can actually be doing the, um, you can't, you do regain it automatically, so, so do not worry about, oh, hey, that, but, yeah. Yeah, Iridian weapons are, are are not that bad, especially when you basically get the uh, reload speed, and uh, I believe there's also a consumption decreaser for them. So, honestly, I would easily work on those. I know I could have worked on it a little bit with the one I had, but eh, it was too slow. This, and we have a chest here because they put one of these over here. Alright, inside you are just two snipers. I need, I should, yeah, nah. Alright, let's, let's take our goodies from the other one. How much would we have? Okay, we're good. Yeah, we, we have 16 and we'll be losing one. We'll be losing. We can, and if we need to, we can use, we have three items that we can use up. are actually really good against shields and and um well good against shields so that means they're actually good against guardians because reminder guardians have powerful shields but crappy health so they so they are, are actually really helpful in helpful in that and we're gonna be fighting a lot of guardians in this section 
Now we'll flow. We're fighting a lot of guardians and land. In fact, that's all we're going to be fighting in this section of the game. Let's take the rewards. And a good, and I believe like you've already noticed, the, um, the Iridium weapons actually do, um, recharge while doing that. Mostly until one side starts focusing more fire on me. So, Sarah Guardians are, as you can tell, flying. They are really, it's really the only thing they do. They have the crappiest shields out of all of them. So to help deal with them, I recommend deal. They do move around a lot, so honestly, I do recommend using a fast shooting weapon. So like, no rockets or shotguns. Although, granted, if you're using a shotgun on a flying enemy, you obviously need help. Unless it's a rack. Racks are the only time I'll actually go, hey, yeah, it's fine, use a shotgun. Alright, there is one last turret. Yeah, right there. Guy shooting at me with a shotgun. Those don't work from afar, you idiot. Anyway, enter here for the last of the uh, stuff we need for the last uh, console we need to activate. And there we go. So, with all of those, we just need to return to the fastness and the echo chamber. Uh, echo thing. But, we do have two guys left, so let's take them out. And, like I said, hey, chess. Ooh, rocket launcher. What do you prepare? You're actually pretty fast, so yeah, I'll take you. And that is actually all that we have. Yeah, that's it for this area. Unfortunately, we have to we have to run all the way back to the fastest entrance. But on the plus side, it since we covered that in pretty decent time, I don't think that the enemies actually will be um will actually matter. Or actually be there. Who knows? I'm not. You know, I'm not really sure what to think about the Crimson Enclave. Just, it's in just their area. You know. 
can it's just eh. Oh, hello. Bye bye. Yeah, that was the only enemy, but I think he was left over from that bridge fight. Oh, well. It's actually kind of funny seeing leftovers from a fight from... Oh, yeah. Let's stop off and actually refill on some stuff. Also sell some stuff. We are actually going to need some stuff. Uh, that's it. Re-enter the fastness, because, yeah, we don't really need, um, because, yeah, we d don't really need to do that. Since it's, uh, since we, actually, since this is a new session, check this. Ah, cause the rocket launcher. I should take this and use it on use it in this room. Yeah, a little annoying move. The badass, badass group still here, so I don't understand why. It's kind of dumb. There we go. Oh, oh, oh there's someone else there. Oh. And they're bad. Oh, they're bad. I can see. Okay, I'm just gonna show up with my radiant weapon. Boom. There's still some more enemies, but it's like, who cares? Hit this. Success! The Echo Communication Network is back online. Find steel and take back the vault key. I know where the vault is, and so does steel. She took my vault key. You know, when you worked so hard to get, get for me? Well, she took it. That albino bitch is going to open the vault unless you can somehow find her and feed her to it. I'm marking my point at the location of the vault. I don't have to tell you what to do. Do I? No, you really don't, Tannis. Yep. There's no time to waste. Basically, no other no other side quests to do. It's just a straight up race for us against us and steel. And return to the Crimson Fastness. So anything you have. In the short amount of fighting you did, we'll reload on some stuff. There we go. Yeah, sadly the land, the enemies here respawn. Let's we'll get rid of them just because they're in our damn way. Oh come on! <laughs> Screw you all. Oh, is there one more? Oh, there's one more. There. Dicks. That is 
Oh, oh. oh alright. Alright, so to get out of here, simply head out to this way. Get any lancemen in the way. to here to find a place with some walls with, with some walls to help you deal with and to catch a ride it would have been so easy and much less of a headache to actually have had used catch a ride but it all it, like I said it would have been much it would have been easy and much less of a headache so anyway for this session Let's give it blue sky, and we'll do machine gun. Granted, we don't really have a lot of it, so. Let me just turn down this way, and you're back to the salt flats. No ifs, ands, buts. This is what we, what the, um, what that little guard thing was. Not really, Marcus. We actually, none of the weapons actually are good for us right now. Anyway, back on the salt flats. Our goal is a little pass over. Over there. There is no time left. You must reach the vault by any means necessary. We will not get another opportunity in this lifetime. And this actually is quite easy to do, but there are a few, few lancemen in our way. Honestly, this is how I just do this. Yep, oh, there. That's it. Just. Just run straight forward and enter the way into the into the descent. The hourglass oh. is on the last few grains of sand. You must reach the vault by any means necessary. We will not get another opportunity like this in your lifetime. And with the threat of the vault looming, this is where we're going to go ahead and end for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time, we'll, gr we'll be barging our way up to stop Commandant Steel. Thanks for watching, guys.